good morning. Good morning, Maria. How are you this morning? Doing great. Um, starting the day off right. A little bit of poetry, a little bit of sunshine. How about you? Same here. It's nice to see you, any thinkers? So this morning, we just wanted to um, bring you some recommendations for poems, um, short essays, uh, and just ways to reflect and uh, start the day off right. Um, so to start, I wanted to share a poem with you all by uh, Mary Oliver. Chaz and I both really love Mary Oliver and um, find that she's a great poet for, um, for some morning reflection. So this one's called Morning Poem. Every morning, the world is created. Under the orange sticks of the sun, the heaped ashes of the night turn into leaves again and fasten themselves to the high branches. And the ponds appear like black cloth, on which are painted islands of summer lilies. If it is your nature to be happy, you will swim away along the soft trails for hours, your imagination alighting everywhere. And if your spirit carries within it the thorn that is heavier than lead, if it's all you can do to keep on trudging, there is still somewhere deep within you a beast shouting that the earth is exactly what it wanted. Each pond with its blazing lilies is a prayer heard and answered lavishly every morning, whether or not you've ever dared to be happy, whether or not you've ever dared to pray. What a beautiful poem and beautifully read. And if you like that poem, if you want to read more, Mary Oliver, um, her new and selected poetry, um, volumes one and two are available on Overdrive and your Libby app. Um, so if you're more of a podcast person um, or you like listening to audiobooks, that kind of thing, I'd love to recommend to you one that I love called Poetry Unbound. Um, and it's just eight minute um, podcast episodes and it's hosted by an Irish poet named Padre Gotuma. Um, the format is really simple. Basically, um, Padre chooses a, a poem that's one of his favorites um, and reads it aloud in his beautiful, sonorous Irish accent, um, and then kind of gives some interpretation and some um, personal connection, uh, his personal connection to the poem. Uh, and then he just reads it aloud again. And it, so it's really simple, um, but I find that for me, I've both been introduced to a lot of poets that I've never heard heard of before through this podcast and I've also um it's kind of for me a way to uh deepen my understanding of poetry because often I find myself kind of in over my head and uh so it's wonderful to be able to hear the interpretation of a poet um on on his thoughts on an, on other poets work so I really love that one and if you don't go back for the poems you'll go back for the Irish accent I promise <laughs> awesome. It is on my list. I'm going to check it out. Um, now, I know there are some people that aren't as into poetry, which is totally, totally fine. What about um, any thinkers that don't really like poetry? Yeah, great question. Um, so if you've never heard of Ross Gay, I highly recommend checking out his Book of Delights, which is uh, available as an ebook on Hoopla. Um, another app that you can download um, easily through the library. Um, so this book of delights is a book of short essays that Roske wrote throughout the course of a year, so almost daily um, for an entire year. And uh, each one kind of zeroes in on a different thing that brings him delight or joy. Um, and so it's contagious and lovely. And um, there's even one about deer poo. So um, <laughs> delight comes in many forms and uh, Roske just has such a beautiful way with words. So. Uh, if you're not a poetry person, but you still want that sense of reflection um, and uh, even humor, I would highly recommend the Book of Delights on Hoopla. Very cool. Very cool. Now, if you, going back to poetry, um, if you like poetry, but you don't necessarily want to read an entire volume or collection, um, I highly recommend Poem a Day from Poetry Foundation. So poetryfoundation.org is awesome um, in and of itself. It has so much poetry. It features really wonderful poets. And it also 
has prose and essays. So if you're not feeling poetry that morning, you can start your morning off with a piece of prose. Um, but if you do want a little poetry in the morning, but you don't necessarily want to go to the website, you can sign up and Poetry Foundation will send you a poem a day straight to your email inbox, which is super great. Just like magic. Just, <laughs> it is magic. It is magic, Maria. Awesome. Um, so y'all are in luck. I've convinced Chaz to, uh, to share a bit of her work with us this morning. So um, Chaz, would you share with us a poem that you've written? I would love to. And um, this is a poem that I wrote after reading Morning Poem by Mary Oliver. It made me think of some family members, my grandmother and my father, who would always sing songs in the morning about silly things, coffee, orange juice, and apple juice. And um, I realized after rereading Morning Poem that it was their own morning poem. So this is for them, and it is called Glorious. Oh, what a day. Memories greet me with a morning of family here and gone with their breakfast to lows. Your memory lingers, but so does your morning poem sung to the heavens. Thank you, Chaz. That's beautiful. Um, so any thinkers, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, that's it for us, but we hope you enjoyed these recommendations and that you um, take the opportunity to uh, try it out. Start your day with a poem or a short essay and, um, and reap the benefits of, of that small reflection. Um, so thank you and have a wonderful morning.